I found out that I, <laughs> I'm on a picture filming, you know. Anyway, so I just saw the thing in, in regards of the Obelix. It's, 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 in Copenhagen, I saw Opelix. I have some pictures on the mobile. Um, uh, in regards of an Opelix or phallus, you know, a gigantic erect penis, actually. Um, standing in Copenhagen, that's probably more. But it was said to be standing there because of the Protestants, you know, like a... And that's just, you know, horrifying, you know, that's just disgusting, you know. Um, you know, put up a symbol like that and then claim it's to be in regards of the Protestant. And all. why are my glasses? And then I find out that apparently they have erected one more of these penises. They probably have erected a lot of them around the country. I don't know. But, you know, it's probably... Where are my glasses? It would be nice if I could just find them. No. That's only pencils. No, no idea where I put those. Uh, oh, oh, over here. At least they're not really the, you know, they're actually weaker than I should have, but they're the only ones I have. So, um, so here we go in regards of one of these disgusting things again. And uh, this apparently is erected in Fadarashia. Fadarashia in Denmark. How do you say it? Fadarashia uh, in Danish. Apparently, in regards to the Huguenots, I do wonder, in regards to that website, the Huguenots, I did wonder why they would have, uh, you know, used the, the sign. Um, now, they use it in blue, but, you know, I still wonder why would they use that sign? Um, in regards to that web page and then you see apparently there's a phallix you know fixed up in regards of the Huguenots apparently to uh, to memorize the you know and why would you put this thing up you know why would you put a standing penis a red penis and then say oh it's to remember you know that the Huguenots came to Denmark because of the I think it was in regards to the Inquisition and Romanism didn't want them in in the country. It was like the French Huguenots. Let's see, was there the France where there was like 10% or something like that of Protestant and growing and oh, we can't have that. Now, one of the Freemasons as well, because the Freemasons love these signs as well. And I have this guy who is a Freemason and I found his Facebook as well. And he also has this... Uh, of course he's a well of course he's a freemason so it's not a big surprise i do wonder if there might actually be something in the book i have on freemasonry in regards to this disgusting symbol um because they really seem to be liking uh, this pagan symbol this pagan idol like in regards of rome and saint peter's square uh didn't i have this guy maybe i have it on my no no i deleted those uh, that's a good question. Uh, I thought I had the, you know, maybe I had it on my mobile and I've lost it. And it's, you know, it's not always easy to figure out. Let's, uh, let's see if I can find the name again. He was like the second in regards to Freemasonry. Uh, no. That's a good question. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. So here's the name. So he's the guy that stands for, you know, the outward appearance of Freemasonry. I tried to contact him, but, you know, actually there's just silence on every point of where I tried to write to. Well, uh, you know, he actually has, a, he has a, a wolf on his page, you know. Ah, very, uh, what you call it, very, um, yeah, of course, wolf in sheep clothing. But anyway, um, and there we go, one of those again. And this is in French, you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background. But as I understand it, he's actually number two in regards of Freemasonry and all that. Uh, anyway, um, you know, a picture of a wolf, you know. Um, 
Now, that might be another reason why in regards of, but it's just, you know, interesting that he would have, a, you know, a wolf, you know, in regards of biblical things and all that. Uh, and there you have the, you know, the thing, uh, the disgusting idol. Um, and, well, of course, if we go to Rome, you can find the same thing in regards of this disgusting thing that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the Bible. In regards of the commandments of God, uh, you can go to uh, Google and you can go to St. Peter's, so-called so St. Peter's Square, whatever they, but that's what they have called it anyway. And let's see if we can go out. So we apparently also have these disgusting things in Denmark and I haven't really looked much after them. You know, so there might be a lot in Denmark, and I think we should actually take every single one down and uh, destroy it. Um, let's see here. That's my opinion. Uh, I don't see why we should have gigantic erect penises standing around. Oh, oops, that's Israel. Uh, in our country, you know, that seems pretty disgusting. Um, there we go with Rome. Here we go. Rome, Rome, Rome your boat. Gently down the stream. Bloody, 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 bloody. There's a river of blood. Okay, so here we have the Vatican City. Apparently I didn't put any uh, marker on. But uh, that, you know, how do I actually see that? Uh, do I actually have like where I can push and and see what is down there on the level? Um, oh, maybe I, this was because I used the other thing uh, last time. That might be the case. Okay, I probably used the other Google tool. Let's see here, uh, Earth. Oh yeah, Google Earth. Oh, mmm, ah. mmm, it's very good. Mmm, -hmm. oh, mmm. -hmm. There we have the little horn of the book of Daniel, and right there in the center. We have the erect penis standing there in the middle. And another place where they, and you can probably find more places. But, there you go. But don't worry about that because I'm told by the Roman Catholics that there's a cross on top of it, so everything is fine. I didn't know, you know? Just put a cross on top of a gigantic erect penis and everything is okay. Yeah. Yeah, this pagan religion is just utter filthy. Mm. So that's just one of them. Um, and, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I should have eaten my steak before I actually did this. But anyway, that's on Sang Pe, uh, you know. And I think they actually got it from Egypt. Um, I think they got it from the arena afterwards in regards of uh, Rome. They had this, uh, what is it called? Not arena. Well, you know, where they had things, you know, carriages driving around and all that. Um, oh, 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 oh. Let me if you just go. I was looking around last time and it took me, you know, not long finding the other place, you know, or one other place. Actually, it was the the, the second place I, or the, you know, the, the next place I looked at, actually. And that's the Pantheon, I think it is. And the Pantheon would be in regards to Roman false gods, as I remember, as far as I understand it. But let's see the images. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, let's see. No, no, 
Why don't they have an image of... Uh, do I actually need to go down to ground level? Oh well, let's see if we can get down to ground level. And see it. I can't remember if I actually... No, I think I saw it on a picture last time. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe it's that one. It might be the one standing down there. Yeah, but it's growing at least. It has, you know, it's just updating all on, on these things. And uh, if I remember correctly, this building is actually... Um, it's actually in regards to the different pagan gods they had in this uh, pantheon of Roman gods. And what is standing outside, and now it's, it's understanding controlled by Rome, or uh, the Vatican. Um, you see a lot of, um, they have just changed in regards of, uh, oh yeah, okay, can we actually see a bigger picture of that? No, apparently not. I did find a picture last time in regards to this. And you could see it was, uh, I think it is, it, it is this one. That actually is another phallus. And I couldn't see if it actually is Egyptian symbols on it or what, but uh, wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> That's a little hard to... Oh, there we go. But that's all it's... Done. Ooh. Well, if it's not going to update more, then it's not really helpful. Um, anyway, uh, I guess you can look at it yourself, but if I remember correctly, it's, uh, I don't understand why they did have pictures of it last time. Oh, maybe I need to go in and then try to, no. Oh, there we go. Yep. And that, that's, yeah, it seems pretty Catholic, right? A cross and, you know, the mother thing uh, with the child. Um, and there we go. That is. That's the spring water. And, yeah, they put a cross on top of that apparently as well, you know. And then everything is fine, right? I still put it uh, just above what looks like a sun or something like that. Uh not entirely sure. Oh, can I actually see? Oh, it looks Egyptian. You know, but the quality is not that, that good. But look like that, that might actually be Egyptian hieroglyphs. So why would you ever have this wicked thing standing there? You know, um, and here we have the seal of the Roman Catholic, you know, the papacy. Uh, in regards to the silver key and the gold key, I think the silver was the political power, the temporal power, the yeah, the civil, temporal, uh, political, civil, temporal. Yeah, okay, civil, temporal, or political power, and then you have the golden key, which is the so-called spiritual, you know, which they think they rule over the whole earth in regards of both keys. But I don't know in regards of what actually says, but I guess it's Latin. Um, anyway. Just, uh, and of course, a lot of weird statues and all that. But there it is. So that's just by, you know, quickly. Oh, actually, that was some information in regards to this. Who built it? Hadrian and probably dedicated about 126 AD. Well, Rome was not, you know, so-called, you know, Christian. <laughs> or whatever you want to call it at that point. So that would be a pagan thing for the different gods. I wonder if they might have had... That if, well, of course, now they just have other kinds of statues, or maybe they actually use some of the same and just call them something different. There's a statue, and there's a statue over there, and there seem to be one over there as well, and maybe more. I don't know how it would, would have looked in the, in the past, but you can see, you know, what they, you know, this is the mother thing, and, you know, whatever. Um, it's just... Incredible. Anyway, so that was just my. Uh, I should probably get moving in regards of eating my steak before it actually gets. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's. Uh, but it's losing heat, and then it becomes. <laughs> it, it 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 tastes better when it's warm. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't understand why the Huguenots. They might have been infiltrated in our days or something like that in Denmark. 
Uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see first one symbol that you can pretty much see in regards of the knights uh, using this symbol. And then you see, uh, you know, uh, you know, a gigantic penis being erected to remember that they fled to Denmark. You know, it's just, um, and they all they call it the Huguenot cross with the hanging dove. Dove. Uh, it's the symbol of, uh, for hundreds of years of suffering. Apparently, I do wonder when they actually made this. <laughs> Simple. Um, so, if it's something new, or if it's something, let's see here. It says that the Huguenot cross is used all over the world. Of uh, the yeah, they are the French Protestant, and they had to flee France. Um, yeah, but I don't understand, you know, why they would use that specific symbol. Um, and when they began to use it, you know, that's interesting. And then seeing the gigantic penis being erected to them, you know, I just, hmm. Yeah, well, the, the Jesuits have infiltrated pretty much everything, it seems, in our days. Uh, oops, Daisy. Oh, I see some cleaning, I guess. Um, I did have my image on Facebook. Um... Oh, that's the Catholic God, the Sun God, mm. the Cookie God. Uh, anyway, uh, actually, that's the Knights of Malta uh, parade. Or oh, no, no, actually, it's just a parade in Malta, actually. Uh, which you know, but it was a movie about the Knights of Malta and the traditions and all that. Here we have an image of me, but of course, it's bad quality because you know Facebook doesn't apparently. So one would need to use another browser, but I'm standing there in blue. Now my back doesn't, you know, on one of the pictures you can see my back is, you know, it's, it's getting worse. It's just getting worse. I really need to do something about it. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, that's a police car in the middle, black, and the two police officers, and yeah, whatever. Um, and one of the guys is in the car for, you know, fixing some, some things on the... Yeah, on the road. Oh, that's in regards to some of the anti-Catholic movies that the Roman Catholics are seeing, or at least from Catholic.com, that say they're anti-Catholic. I did have, I'm not, you know, it's a filthy uh, video, and it's not, I don't know how they think it has to be the worst of Roman anti-Catholicism, but, uh, of course, it's showing a lot of the tools that they used, but uh, overall, it's, you know, it has... You know, some kind of witchcraft thingy, witchy in it and all that. And, yeah, it's, it's just... I don't know, I think it's... Uh, I don't know, but you would have to be careful because it's Roman Catholic sources giving me these videos. So I am aware that, you know, the last uh, source they are giving, like anti-Catholic material, is like a video that is also promoting a lot of other stupidity. So, you know... Uh, I don't know, but but um, there was a book that seems to be pretty good. Um, that might actually be interesting to read more. And actually, they are attacking him for for not actually being a former Roman Catholic. And he actually mentions that in one of his books, one of his versions. I guess it must be one of the older that he already have had attacks on him. That you know, as usual, you know, you know, you were never a Roman, you know, priest and blah blah blah. Um. To discount what they are saying. You see the same thing over and over again in regards to Roman Catholicism. Anyway, I should stop now. And eat my steak before it gets cold.